Good morning guys, welcome to today's vlog. Happy Sunday. We have been out running errands all morning. I got a few clips this morning. Um, I made some cinnamon rolls. Emmett had his yogurt and he had a few bites of my cinnamon roll. Um, and then we headed out and we met up with my best friend and we ran to Target. I needed to pick up a few things. Um, per usual, I think I do that every weekend. But I just needed some stuff for around the house. Um, Emmett needed more nighttime diapers. We have been using the same ones that I mentioned in a previous vlog for nighttime, which they are the seventh generation ones. I really like them. They hold up super well. We haven't had any um, leaks. <laughs> and then I also picked up some more wipes that have like the pop top on them to put in his diaper bag. I got more of these space bags. Um, I got some big ones to put away my winter sweaters, so I need to do that today. And then we got some armor hammer little things for Emmett's uh, diaper pail. And then I picked up some um, wall plugins to put in the house. David and I's wedding anniversary is tomorrow. <laughs> So I've got a card for him that I need to fill out. And then I saw this really cute little tank. So I just picked up this cute little tank for Emmett. And then we went out originally because we were going to Florida with them at the end of this month. So we wanted to get Emmett and um, Letty, which is my best friend's daughter. They are three months apart. So we wanted to get them some matching outfits to wear for Florida. So we just ran to the mall just to look around. We didn't really pick up that much. So we went into Old Navy and this is the little matching outfit that we got. So Emmett has this shirt and then Letty has it in like a little romper. So that's gonna be really cute. And then this was on sale for like six bucks. So I picked up one for next, um, fall, winter, whatever. It, it probably will fit him into the spring, honestly. So that's all that I got while we were out. Nothing crazy, um, just a few things. And yeah, I needed to get David um, a bottle of Makers because every anniversary, ever since we started dating, we have a tradition where I make him one of these. He actually has every single one of them still from uh, whenever we start dating. Holy crap, he still has. He doesn't even need it because it's still like almost full. But every year, this is kind of what I do for him. This one was a big one. Let me pull out this and I'll show you guys how cute I am because, you know. So I'll show you guys what I do, but like I said, I've been doing this ever since we started dating. Our actual like dating anniversary is on July 4th, and then our wedding anniversary is on July 1st. So last year, I kind of um, mixed the two together. So uh, I'll show you guys kind of like my little thing that I do for David for pretty much everything. So like I said, he has all of his bottles still. This one is from two years. So this is kind of what I do. And then I always take this red bow and put it on the new bottle. And then this is the one that I gave him whenever I told him that I was pregnant. So that was the day he found out he was gonna be a dad. And then this one is from last year. So I combined our five year dating anniversary with our one year of marriage. And I got him the really big bottle. Like you can see the difference there so i got him this big one and he still has like a whole entire bottle so i really don't even think he needs it so the cool thing that he does is this lasts him an entire year and he saves the last like little shot or amount that he would need to like make a drink and he drinks that on our anniversary so then he finishes the bottle on our anniversary so that's what i usually do for him and um, it's Sunday and 
we've been so busy we've had so much going on that i have not even thought about our anniversary i kind of forgot it really snuck up on me so i haven't gotten it yet and it's sunday but any in a past new hall where you can buy alcohol after 12 i think I seriously have not had anything to drink since well before I got pregnant with Emmett. Like, I'm just not a drinker. I just don't really like the taste of alcohol, so I never buy alcohol. But Emmett is sleeping. I just went down for his second nap of the day. So, while he's napping, I'm going to take advantage of my time. I need to eat some lunch. I need to get quite a bit of breast milk stored away and into the freezer. And straighten up a little bit i also at some point need to find time to completely redo this sign because it still says that i am 38 weeks pregnant and i'm definitely not so i need to redo that sign um i also need to get rid i have like all of these formula samples that were giving to given to us by like our pediatrician or just sent to us like randomly in the mail by like those companies i don't know they send like coupons and random formula when you have a baby so i have all those cans sitting out because we kind of cleaned out the cabinets and um i need to get those taken over to my friend's house because she uses them so those are sitting out. I know I might get questions why there's formula on my table. Lots of people are going to be like, are you not breastfeeding anymore? We're still breastfeeding. That Those are just samples that were sent to me that I need to give to my friend because we're not using them. So yeah, I'm going to get going and get some stuff done before Emmett wakes up so I can be productive. handsome can you say hi no that no Cooper Cooper no that's Emmett's don't lick it mm. are you trying to give your pass to you Cooper What's Daddy doing? Huh? What's Daddy doing? Loading up all the goods. This room is going to be empty here soon so we're loading up all this stuff and we're gonna run it over to the storage unit really quick what are you doing him it hi what you doing buddy hi no that's yours don't give it to cooper I mean, I guess it's the same as you trying to put on his toys, but... Daddy. Yeah, Dad, Dad, he's awake. He went outside. Did you see him? Coop, where are you going, buddy? We got a little itch. He's like, um, no. Can you say, hey? Dad. Really? That's a great... 
Yeah, that's a really good story. That's a great story. You're so funny. Hi. Hi. He's got a little well on his booty. You got a little well on your booty? Are you talking to Cooper? Are you talking to Coop? I can't remember if I showed these books in a vlog or not. Um, but we seriously love these and it loves these books. They're like the indestructible, chew proof, rip proof, non-toxic, 100% washable books. And his Uncle Evan and Aunt Allie sent him three of them from Montana. And he loves these things. And they seriously are like indestructible because you can see he has gone ham on it. And it is not ripped at all. But we have one in the car, one out here. And then we have one that is put up for whenever these um, don't make it anymore. But they're holding on strong. Hey. A little booty butt, what are you doing over there? <laughs> Emmett. Emmett. Emmett, what do you have? We just ran um, a load to the storage unit, so we took both of our cars, and David is still there just finishing up putting stuff away. He should be back any second. Um, but he has one more little load to run over there. We're gonna, we're gonna be putting his swing in storage. So that's really sad. I feel like once the swing is gone, it's like my baby's gone. But he still likes the swing. He's just a little too big for it. There's Daddy Dave now. Come to get the second load. It's hot, isn't it? Hot outside. Today would have been a really good day to get out my kiddie pool because it's so hot. So hot outside. Oh, hello, Cooper. Hi, sweet boy. Hi. Ah! Sad day in the Maldonado house. This means my baby's not a baby anymore, right? Too focused. Too focused. That wasn't mental, yes. Right, babe? Yeah. <laughs> hey. Little boy. Is that lamb good? Mm. <laughs> mm. You're so silly.
Emmett's having some pasta and mashed potatoes for dinner. And you really like it, don't you, bub? Is it slippery? <laughs> Oh, your mouth, your face is so messy. You got needles on your chin. Guys, I am slightly freaking out right now. It's six o'clock, David just left for work, and our power went out probably about 30 to 20 minutes ago. And it's seriously like 100 degrees outside, but our entire street does not have power right now. And I'm legit freaking out because I have so much breast milk in my deep freeze in the garage. And it's like 100 degrees outside. I also have a ton in my freezer in here that I need it to take out to the garage. So that's going to go bad before the stuff in the garage. And I'm like freaking out. Apparently my next door neighbor's green box in their front yard was smoking so i'm assuming like a transformer blue or something i don't know but we might have to be making an emergency run to my dad's to drop off some breast milk and also i mean if the power doesn't come back on in a reasonable time we're gonna have to go stay the night there because it's so hot outside like this ac is not going to be it's it's just not this coolness isn't gonna hold off in here much longer so that's where we're at right now. Hopefully this power comes back on soon because I'm legit freaking out. I feel like that's one of the downsides of having like so much breast smoke stored up is that you're constantly worried about it, um, like losing power and stuff. So, and it's almost time for Emmett to go down for bed. It's literally 6.03. He needs to go down for bed in like 20 to 30 minutes. Mm. Okay guys, an update. It's about eight o'clock and our power came on about five minutes ago. So uh, I actually ended up running all of my breast milk over to our babysitters because she lives just three doors down. And she was like, bring it over. Like I have enough room. She had power. So uh, we took all the breast milk over there and then Emmett, I was trying to get Emmett to like go to sleep, but I didn't want to put him in his crib and because he would probably end up crying and he was already like hot so we kind of just hung out and i got him to bed before eight which is like ideal time so he's i laid him down and he's kind of rolling around right now trying to put himself to sleep um but while the power was still out the tornado sirens start going off because it's been like 100 degree 90 degrees all day today and it's dropping down to 70 so it is storming really bad right now um and the power crews were out there digging up a transformer and replacing it literally with a storm rolling in with a tornado siren so i was freaking out thinking that they weren't going to be able to um get it fixed tonight but they did. Thank the Lord. It's all good. We have AC going now. Emmett's in his room. He's going to sleep. The breast milk is safe. I'm going to end the vlog here. Um, make sure you guys subscribe to my channel and give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. And we will see you in the next one. Thanks for watching.